Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and welcome back for another video. Today I'm coming to give you guys an update on my hair. Yes, this is my hair. I left it in braids for over four months and just been applying wigs on my hair, neglecting my hair to the fullest. And as you can see, it looks like it needs some TLC. It is all kind of gel and lace glue and everything matted up into my hair so I definitely wanted to show you guys how I get all this gook and disgustingness out my hair as well as give you guys a little update so I'm gonna take this C22 solvent I got this from my local beauty supply store it's just lace glue remover and I'm just going to work this into my hair let it sit for a little bit work it in a little bit more and then I'm going to very very gently comb it out I'm using a very very light hand so that I don't break off my hair because I know I'm gonna get a whole lot of shedding because my hair has been put up for so long but as you can see once you start combing it out it does easily just slide off so I have worked it in this side and I have completely took out all of the glue and gunk and gel and all of that stuff and I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the other side until I have all of this mess out of my head and like I said, I've been wearing wigs for the last couple months. So I have been placing them a little bit further than my hairline so that my hairline doesn't get messed up. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have a fine hairline anyway. And once I have all of that mess out of my hair, I'm going to take the Cream of Nature Apple Cider Vinegar Clarifying Rinse. I always use this when I have buildup in my hair or when I just need to really detangle my hair. And I really, really like this when I've tried other ones, but this one is pretty much the best. And I'm going to add some water just to make it easier to comb through. And then as you can see, my hair detangled really, really easily. So I'm just going to twist up my hair and repeat the same steps all over my head. And as you guys can see, my hair has grown so much. Even though I did neglect it, you guys know that I've always been one to say that my hair just grows. I don't do anything special to it. So I'm going to take my Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner and use this as like a pre-poo just so that I can soften up my hair before I actually shampoo it, condition it, deep condition, all of that. And as you can see, my curls pop right back. No, I have not relaxed my hair yet. And I will explain that in the upcoming video. But my curls are popping. They look really, really good. Um, they're probably not the healthiest right now because of me neglecting them. But I am definitely going to work on the health of my hair. This is my hair after being shampoo, conditioned, deep conditioned. It was really, really late. So I did not record all of that. And then the next day, I did blow dry my hair using the GVP from Sally's blowout spray it is the generic brand of the Kenra blow dry spray and I love this it works really really well so as you can see I do need to clip my ends July did make two years post big chop so I definitely need to clip my ends and by me having my hair you know just braided for all this time it definitely needs a little TLC so this is how my hair turned out after being blow dried. It might not be the healthiest right now, but I do plan on doing more. So I just wanted to come show you guys how I got all that gook out my hair. Give you guys a little limp check and check in on my natural hair. And if you guys have any questions that you guys want me to answer in my upcoming natural hair video, please let me know. I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.